Hi and welcome to the next in the series of Litter Up videos. My name is Paul Pablo Sultana. In terms of what equipment you need, let's start with the basics first and let's start with what you'd wear. I would generally recommend that you wear walking shoes or walking boots, preferably waterproof, particularly if you're going off the, off the path, and um, certainly invest in a couple of pairs of gloves because although you won't be using your hands to pick up the litter, um, it, this gives you further protection, particularly when you're tying the bags together and uh, holding the handles or if you drop your litter picker and you pick it up, you're not transferring any nasties that might be on the grass such as dog mess or, or rat's urine, that kind of stuff, and it gives you extra protection against cuts as well. Um, so that's, that's good. Uh, you'll see I'm wearing a high-vis vest, I'd always, always recommend you wear a high-vis vest. Even walking on the pavements these days, you're at risk of being knocked over by a bicycle or uh, an electric scooter, that kind of thing. And certainly if you're in and out of parks or bushes and that, you want to be highly visible. And certainly crossing the road, uh, day or night, you should wear one of these. Although I would strongly recommend that you don't go litter picking in poor light, and certainly not at night. Now, looking at the equipment properly, again, the great thing about litter picking is virtually anyone can do it and you don't need to spend a lot of money or time in investing in equipment. So you can start off with something as cheap and as simple as one of these litter pickers. Now, I think this is a pound shop one and it's the kind of, uh, or from uh, somewhere like hardware stores like Wilco's, that kind of thing, literally a pound, a couple of pounds. But they don't last very long, they're not very robust, they break quite easily, um, so don't expect a great deal from these. But that's all you need to start with, and obviously you need something to put them, put the litter into. What about reusing one of the um, carrier bags you've got lying under the kitchen sink or in the, the pantry or whatever? Um, again, great way of disposing of these uh, bags. So that's all you need, it literally costs next to nothing. If you want to actually upgrade a bit and you're getting a bit serious about your litter picking, I would strongly suggest invest in a really good quality one like this. Um, again, get them on the internet. And if you're doing it as a part of an organised group, they'll supply you with the equipment generally. And local authorities also will supply you with equipment. Solly Hall Council certainly supplies some really good equipment. The only thing you will ever need to worry about with these litter pickers, sometimes these ends can come off, particularly if you're stuck in a bush or something. Um, so what I'd suggest when you first get them, pull the, the, the ends tips off super glue them back on really and then you'll probably never never lose them if you do lose them the great things about some of these good quality ones is that you can actually buy replacement end tips right so we've done the main litter picker but have a look at this this is an exceptionally long litter picker and this is something you wouldn't use every day but it is really useful for going into deep into bushes and for getting stuff by the water side without you having to go really close to or even by the road so um, it's really useful to have but again very expensive the uh, a litter picker like this would probably cost in the region of 30 35 pounds so again see if your local authority or your litter picking group will either borrow you or buy you one certainly you don't want to be spending your own money on that we said about the bags and collecting stuff into bags. These are um, the bags that we get from Solihull Council, the Love Solihull bags. Really good, strong bags, good capacity, and they are biodegradable. That's really good to have. And then, really recommend, I can't recommend highly enough to have some kind of bag hoop because you don't want to be holding your bag open all the time with one hand and then put into the it's a, and particularly like a day like today the reason i've come indoors to film this is because it's so windy outside 
I, well, I did film myself earlier doing this, but it was just so windy. One, I couldn't uh, put the bag on the hoop, and two, the wind was just blowing, um, so we couldn't hear what I was saying in any case. And it's as simple as that to put your bag into your, uh, in, into your in, onto your hoop, and it really makes it so easy for you then to pick up your litter and then just drop it into your hoop, which is left open, your bag, which is left open all the time thanks to your hoop. So really useful. They're about ten pounds to buy. You can get these other sorts as well. This one's got a pistol grip handle, which is really comfortable and I prefer. And then you've got a lighter one with just a foam handle on. And again, they're not much difference, about £10 um, for, for these. So very good, I'd really recommend them. Um, finally, really, the only other things that you'd need as equipment when you go litter picking, always have a bottle of water. One, to uh, obviously for refreshment, and two, if you need to swill your hands or rinse something out your, your, your eyes and that, you've got it there. But certainly you should also have some um, hand cleaner, uh, a bag of cheap uh, antibacterial hand wipes, and also, of course, a face mask particularly if you're likely to be coming in close contact with people so you can keep yourself safe. And that's about all you need. Right, so what can we pick up? Well, basically you can pick up any kind of common litter as long as you're not using your hands and you're using some litter pickers. So we're talking about things like food wrappers, uh, sweets, cigarette butts, we're talking of plastic bottles, tins, cans, uh, paper, cardboard and even glass bottles as long as the glass is unbroken. What not to pick up is things like anything sharp or dangerous such as knives we get, from, we get found from time to time and syringes both of which should be reported immediately to the police and all local authority and local council. You shouldn't attempt to touch them in any way. You should take a photograph if you uh, need to leave that location before the police or the council get there and make sure that they know exactly where that item is. Um, again, you can find broken asbestos, which if you breathe them in, can be hazardous. Other sharp items, broken bottles, dog mess, uh, babies, nappies, anything that with, but might have biological waste such as blood or uh, saliva or excrement on then please don't attempt to pick up even if you think you can double back it quite safely. Um, again report to the local council and they will get that picked up for you. So finally um, don't try and pick up anything that is too heavy. Uh, these litter pickers aren't meant to pick up heavy items, they're just to pick up normal light to medium weight litter. Right, this is a good place to start litter picking. Your local green spaces, green areas, um, often littered. And as you can see, even if they have bins, sometimes they're overflowing. So uh, this is a good place to start. And if people could just do outside their own front doorstep that would make a massive difference if everyone did outside their own doorstep you wouldn't need great armies of volunteers like us picking litter up so um, this is a great place to start if you've never litter, litter picked before do outside your front garden your front doorstep that'd be great here by the road always be very careful when you're by the roadside never lean into the road and always be vigilant for particularly for things like electric cars and e-bikes and, uh, and scooters that don't make any noise always have a high-vis vest on as well um, 
unfortunately there's a lot of litter that's getting tossed out uh, of car windows these days which is deplorable so if you're doing it please don't do it it makes such a mess and someone has to pick it up so uh, yeah just be safe children's play areas and playgrounds and here by the water side but never go too close to the water and always make sure there's someone there with you in case you get into trouble See, this is something that annoys me. We've got a lovely picnic area and green spaces. Someone's had a nice picnic, just thrown all their litter over there when the bin is just there, and another one there, and another one over there. So don't forget to interact with us, put some messages on, let us know your experiences, let us know what you'd like to see in future videos, and um, send us pictures or videos if you can of what you've been up to. Thank you.